Welcome to the South Central College 2021 Commencement. I'm Dr. Annette Parker, President of South Central College, and I will be your host for the official commencement ceremony. Prior to this event, graduates were welcomed to a drive through procession, first on our Faribault campus yesterday afternoon, and then on our North Mankato campus this morning and early afternoon. More than 200 students signed up to stop at their chosen campus where they were congratulated at a distance by our faculty, staff, and administrators. They also had an opportunity to pick up their diploma cover, alumni gift, and program, as well as have a, take, a photo taken in a cap and gown. It was fun, once again, to see our smiling faces of our graduates. Now we will begin the more traditional, albeit virtual ceremony, celebration of our graduates, the 2021 South Central College Commencement Ceremony. Please stand as you are able to for our national anthem sung by SCC faculty member, Dr. Amy Magnus, as we virtually represent our flag. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Welcome graduates and guests. I would like to extend my congratulations to our graduates from fall 2020, spring 2021, and summer 2021. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected every aspect of our lives this past year and will continue to affect the status quo for years to come. Social distancing, online classes, masks, and so much more have all impacted the world and our college experience. While this has brought a number of challenges to your world, it has also shown how adaptable you all are. Your world has changed, but you have remained steadfast in your pursuit of success for you and for your family. So no matter what goals you set for yourself or what you do following your graduation from SCC, whether beginning a new career, continuing on to get your bachelor's degree, or developing new skills to make you even more marketable in this ever-changing world. Your education will continue to drive your progress. Graduates, I believe each of you came to South Central seeking success, and despite the added complications, you have persevered. You've done more than persevered. Through sheer guts and grit and determination, you triumphed. Most of you have not done this alone. You've had others in your life to support you, to provide encouragement during the rough spots, and then to cheer you on during the moments of success, like this commencement today. To build on this support, a few years ago, South Central College applied for and was accepted to be part of Achieving the Dream, a national network of more than 220 community colleges dedicated to student success. And as an Achieving the Dream College, our faculty and staff and administrators have worked together to tackle some of the toughest and most ambitious initiatives with the ultimate goal of making a difference, as we say it, just one more, just one more student at a time. While the pandemic may have shifted our focus for a moment, 
It has further justified the work we do within these initiatives that are aimed at providing to you, all students, with additional resources for success. So also helping and supporting you on your journey to this moment where our campus foundations, which provide scholarships, equipment, and facility upgrades. Our community partners who help fund these efforts with our foundations and provide opportunities for internships, apprenticeships, and employment. And our amazing faculty and staff who support our students every day. I also want to recognize our outstanding faculty member of the year, biology instructor Renee Geyer, who in a typical year would have carried our South Central College mace and led the processional this evening. Thank you, Renee, for all that you do. I would like to introduce our leadership team. Dr. Marcia Danielson, Vice President of Economic Development and Interim Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs. Dr. Naren Brown, Vice President of Research and Institutional Effectiveness and Fairable Campus Dean. Ms. Roxy Traxler, Vice President of Finance and Operations. And Ms. Judy Indris, Associate Vice President of Student Affairs. Dr. Kim Johnson, Associate Vice President of Effective Teaching and Learning. Mr. Brad Slosher, Dean of Agriculture and Executive Director of the Minnesota State Southern Agricultural Center of Excellence. Dr. Rick Kurtz, Dean of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Demetra Harding, Dean of Health Sciences and Interim Dean of Career and Technical Education. And Mr. John Harper, Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Thank you for your leadership and the commitment to our students. Graduates, we have some wonderful speakers who have sent congratulatory messages to you and we have them linked on our graduation page of our website. They include videos from SCC alumni as well as Minnesota State Board of Trustees Chair Jay Coles and Minnesota State System Chancellor Devinder Maholtra. As you may know, South Central College is one of 37 colleges and universities in the Minnesota State System. Please review them as you are able. We will start off by hearing from our graduating student, Brooke Rendall, who is receiving her Associate of Science degree in early childhood education today. Brooke was the president of the SEC Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society for two years, vice president for one year, and is still an active member in that honor society. Brooke will provide our student remarks today. Thank you, Dr. Parker, for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of our graduating class today. I just want to start out by saying welcome to the family, friends, and faculty of our graduating class. Without you, we would not have made it to this day. I would also like to congratulate each and every one of you who are graduating with me. As you all know, this past year has not been the easiest on any of us, but you all stuck it through and made it to graduation. I want to just say that I may not know you all personally, but I am beyond proud of you for making it to graduation. We have all had our own sets of trials and tribulations throughout our college career on top of a global pandemic, but we have made it. When we step out into our careers, I know we will face our tasks with the same strength and determination that got us through our years of education. We won't panic when a deadline is nearing and only half our work is complete because we learned how to put out grade A work just in the nick of time. Putting our first foot forward into the unknown may seem scary at first, but once we get there and we look back to where we started, we will be proud of ourselves and our accomplishments. I would like to say a special thank you to Nicole Emerson for always being there for me throughout my time here at South Central. There were a lot of times when I thought it was too much or I didn't think I would make it, but you made my time here something I will always cherish. I remember when I first decided to give college a try again, being a mom of two boys, one of whom required a lot of medical intervention during that first year or two, while also struggling with my own mental health issues. I finally went and found the help that I needed with the push from my family and friends and all of their amazing support, I was able to make it through to this day. 
Now looking back, I am elated and overjoyed to know that I had to know that I made it and accomplished tasks that I thought were impossible. I look to the future now and what it holds not only for me, but also for my children as they grow up knowing that they can accomplish anything they put their mind to. Some of you will go straight to the workforce and some of you may be continuing on in your education, but whatever your future holds, just know that you are going to do great as long as you continue to stay committed to your goals. Just remember, baby steps are still steps. One thing that carried me through when I was second guessing myself is something my boyfriend's mom told me, and that is no matter how fast or slow you go, you are making progress. And if you weren't going to school, then you would be stuck where you were before. Now, before I go, I just wanna say one more time, I am so proud of you all and know that you will make a great future for yourselves. And congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Brooke. You are truly an inspiration to all of us at SEC. Now at this time, we will hear from Dr. Danielson. Thank you, Dr. Parker. As Interim Vice President of Student and Academic Affairs, I am proud to recognize our honor students who have academically distinguished themselves during their college career. These students were sent a medallion on a ribbon corresponding to their level of honors, white for honors, silver for high honors, and gold for the highest honors. These students had the opportunity to join the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society as well. I also want to recognize our graduates who are active duty military and veterans. We appreciate your service and the service of all military veterans. To each of you, we offer a big thank you. We are able to celebrate today because of your service and sacrifice. All of our graduates are listed in the program, which can be viewed online at southcentral.edu slash graduation. Each student was also able to pick up a printed program at the drive up procession. President Parker, it is my privilege to present the candidates for certificate, diploma, and degrees in all programs. On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates have met the department, division, South Central College, and State of Minnesota requirements for the certificate, diploma, and degree conferred. Congratulations to all of you. By the authority vested in me by the state of Minnesota through the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you, as appropriate, Certificate, Diploma, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, and Associate of Science degree. Graduates at home, there is one more task for you to complete. If you're wearing your cap and gown, Please move your tassels from the right to the left. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Congratulations.